okay uh, so we look at another uh, algebra equation and uh, this one is asking us to solve the equation giving our answer correct to two decimal places all right so this is a quadratic and uh, keep in mind to say the form of this okay the form of what we have here is supposed to be a x squared plus b x plus c all right that is how it's supposed to be so it's up to us to try to put it uh, in the correct order so that it will be very simple for us to work with all right so what we do here is that um, we're going to multiply everything by what by x this is the one the x is on the denominator here for what for five we're going to multiply everything uh, or throughout by what by x so um, 3x multiplied by x that will give us a uh, 3x squared plus then 5 over x by x that will give us 5 okay so we have 5 over x multiplied by x that and that goes remain with 5 that that's uh, that that's how the 5 came about then 12 plus I mean 12 multiplied by x that will give us 12 x all right so keep in mind to say the order that we have is a x squared plus b x uh, plus c c is equals to 0 so here we, are, we need to uh, subtract to uh, 12 x on both sides need to subtract 12 x on both sides say minus 12 x and this side we say 3 x squared plus 5 minus 12 x is equals to 0 like that okay that will give us a 0 that's where the 0 is coming from so here we have 3 x squared minus 12 x uh, plus 5 is equals to 0 okay and that is basically what we need uh, for us to work with it's, it's much easier using that compared to what we had at first so we have our 3x squared minus 12x plus 5 is equals to 0 like that okay so uh, looking at uh, the question uh, like looking at the question that we have in the statement it's given that we need to leave the answer in two decimal uh, correct to two decimal places so what I can say myself is that at this point I'm able to know that I'm dealing with uh, decimal points and stuff and I'm being reminded that what I need to use is the quadratic formula where I'm, where they we just remind ourselves of the quadratic formula is um, where x is equals to uh, x is equals to um, minus b positive or negative uh, the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by divided by 2a and uh, sometimes uh, maybe this is a mistake that uh, most uh, uh, students or pupils make you find that uh, when you're putting this line that is indicating the over or the divide by you cut it at this point which is very wrong when you cut it at this point it basically means that the 2a um, is only uh, for what is only for the square root of b, uh, b squared minus 4ac not including what minus b but of which is supposed to be uh, divided by everything here okay so uh, that's one of the points that we really uh, we, uh, we really need to remember uh, as we are writing because uh, people who mark our papers people who mark our books they see so it doesn't make sense whereby the answer that you get is the answer whereby you divided uh, you said uh, everything here divide by 2a but the way you wrote you wrote as if you are just writing the square root of that divide by 2a so we really need to write the correct things all right so uh, we, should, we also need to remind ourselves that this is our a uh, Okay, this is our A, this is our B, and this is our C. So, um, so uh, positive three is A, negative twelve is B, positive five is C. C. So, it's just a matter of uh, replacing here. Okay, it's just a matter of replacing. So, uh, minus we are supposed to put minus here. Open bracket. Remember to say our, our B has a negative, so it will be like that positive or negative the square root of uh, our b okay we need to put it in a bracket since it's a negative uh, minus 12 squared minus 4 multiplied by what's our a 3 our c is 5 
divide by 2 multiplied by what? By 3 which is our A. Okay, so that will give us our positive 12, positive or negative, the square root of uh, so uh, negative 12 squared is more like 12 squared that will give us a positive value which is a uh, 144 144 minus we have a uh, 4 by 3 by what uh, by 5 which is just a 12 by 5 okay which is a 60 okay divide by uh, divide by a 2 times 3 which is a 6 like that Okay, so it's very important that we just take our time, take things step by step, you definitely reach at the answer. So remember to say we are looking for x. So this is our 12, positive or negative. So here we are saying, uh, remem always remember, we are dividing everything by what? By the 6. So we are saying uh, 144 minus 60, we get 84. Then the square root of 84 uh 144 minus 60, we get um, 84, okay? So, you need to find the square root of 84. Okay, remember, this is paper too, so we are allowed to use our calculator. So, the answer that I get on my calculator is 9.16515139. So, they need two decimal places, okay? And it's really important that you also understand the difference between significant figures as well as decimal places, and I believe we'll talk about... Um, about that a bit later. All right. So uh, since I know that the answer is supposed to be in, uh, in two decimal places, I can round off this one just at this point. So it's very important that you look at your values towards this end. Okay. So the, the these are the decimal places that I'm looking for. But when I look at this value here, that is following um, that is following the six is five. Is starting from five, so we know to say any any number that is starting from five going above, we're able to we're able to get a, a a one from it. So meaning this is going to be nine point one seven. Okay, and again there are cases where by maybe it was something like nine point one six four nine eight or something like that. We can't just write nine point one six. No, just because here there is a four. You can round off starting from this side. There is an eight here. So this eight will give nine. The nine will be ten. It's going to give one here, just like that. Unless if here there was a three, that's when you just write it in this uh, in this manner. Okay. So that means we have what a nine point one seven like that. All right. So here what we have. Uh, you say that we are saying our x is 12 plus 9.7 divided by 6 or our x is what? Our x is equals to 12 minus 9.7 divided by divided by 6. Okay, so uh, 12 plus 9.17 is, uh, is going to give us a 21.17 divided by the 6. Or we can say our x is equals to so 12 minus 9.17. Um, what you're going to get is a 2.83 divided by what? Divide by 6. Okay. So our final answers. We can say uh 21.17 divided by 6. What I get is a 3.582. Uh, okay. Something like a 3.5 3 bar. When I mean 3 bar here, it basically means 3 uh, is repeating itself. It's more like we have um, we have a 3, 3, 3, 3 going on and on, on and on and like that, but I don't have time to write that. So what you do is that you just write a 3 and a bar. If it was a 4, you just write 4 and a bar just like that. Even if it's two numbers, such as maybe it's 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, instead of writing all of them, just write 1, 2 with a bar like that. That's how you simplify your work. Okay, so uh, I'll see round, round this off to uh, to two decimal places. Okay, so what I'm going to get is a three point five three. We have a, we have eight here, giving to two becoming a what? A three there. So what we have another one there is two point eight three. We divide by six. What I'm going to get is a zero point four seven one 
6 bar. And again, we know what the bar means now. It means 6 is repeating itself. So we round off these two decimal places. That would be 0 0.47. Here, even if you round off, this would be a 2. 2 can't give to 7. It can't give to 7 there. So the answer is uh, 0 0.47 like that and that's how we go about um, solving uh, such a quadratic equation yeah thank you very much for watching